Ryan Hogarth, well done. A brilliant match. I mean, I mean that's the best win of your career, I take it? Yeah, when it comes to... Well, it's the first time I've played a singles competition on TV, so, uh, yeah, it has to be the best I've done so far, yeah. yeah I mean, it was, a, it was a tough draw, but you seemed to play so, like, without any nerves. Were there any nerves? There was before I played, but when I got on the stage, I started off okay, and then I think when I got in front, I got a little bit nervous afterwards, but... I think I calmed down halfway through and then it seemed to go okay from there. Because a lot of 180s, there were times when you maybe like you could have folded, but you hit back every time, didn't you? If I can get them sitting in the right place, I'm not too bad at falling on, but I, it's just one of the things that went in at the right time, so I can't complain. That 170, how important was that? I mean, did, did that really change the match, do you think, or kept you in charge, didn't it? I don't know if it changed the match, but it definitely gave me the, the benefit because I think if I'd lost that, I think it was a break, I might be wrong. But it definitely put him in a good position. So I think hitting it made sure that I had a little gap to go in front. So it definitely helped at the right time. I think, I think if he'd have got it, I think he would have had a break and then he would have been trying to hold for 4-4. So it was crucial, wasn't it? I mean, what, what did you think when you went up for the 170 then, Ryan? It's one of the images. If I can get the first start sitting in the right place near the top wire, I always think I'm going to hit the second. doesn't always happen, but... You always think you've got a good chance, it's a nice marker, it went in, so it's a nice rhythm after that because you don't worry about scraping in, it just went in, so take it as it comes, it, it was good at the right time and I can't complain. I mean, Ross Montgomery next then, uh, then Ryan, I mean, that's a, that, that's, that's a tough game, isn't it? Um, obviously know Ross really well, we travel about together, play for Scotland with a guy, he's, he's done a lot for me, he's helped me a lot, so we've played each other a few times, he's probably coming top a little bit more, but... If I play like that, I've, I've got a chance, that's all I can say. So like the 12, 12 o'clock start though on Saturday, that's maybe not ideal, you would say? It's an early start, but in saying that, if you can get that out of the way, you've, you've almost got a date to recover, so it's one of those. It, it can either work for you or against you. We know when we're on, so at least we can't complain as at short notice. How long have you been trying to get to tournaments like this then, Ryan? How long have you been sort of playing on the county circuit and everything? I think I really started playing darts properly when I was about 18, so it's been about eight years now, so I, I've done a bit, I've, I think I've played for Scotland for four years, which is the main thing, so that's helped me come on a lot, and I've been close to a few things, so I, yeah, I've probably done it, say, six years properly, so it's still a bit of time, but it's coming now, and I'm really happy with where it is. I was going to say, is this a, a breakthrough win for you, Ryan? This is something to build on, isn't it? Well, qualifying was the main thing because I've been close to a cup, cup win now, like I say, never quite got there, but never been far away. And to qualify for this was a big chance to show something and to play reasonably well there and hit the right things at the right time. I think that if I can build on that, then it's definitely going the right direction. You must take a lot of confidence from that performance. Yeah, definitely. A few slight darts here and there, but if I can hit the right things at the right time like I did and a bit steadier, then... Yeah, I'd be quite happy with it on plane.